like to thank everybody for coming and participating in this. I think it's an uh, international effort to um, address this epidemic in our society, and I just wanted to start by saying thank you. Um, I was in a marriage for 11 years, and it was extremely abusive emotionally and psychologically, not physically, um, and that needs to be made clear. Abuse does not always come in the physical form, uh, which promoted me into finding a restraining order that obviously does not serve us. We, uh, we were pretty desperate at that time, and, and we took the chance in, in applying for that. But in doing that, we set forth our abuser's anger and we take away their control in a way and it just puts it into motion where it eventually blows up and that is where police do not enforce and they do not respect the holder of a restraining order and therefore it makes it very dangerous and ultimately lethal for women and children to not have those enforced um, I had trapped Simon for the six months that I was separated from him, and he had five contacts with the police in a six-month period of time. Most of us don't have five contacts in a lifetime, and yet they ignored my eight phone calls in ten hours um, pertaining to this restraining order. They never bothered to respond. It took them two hours to come to my home in the initial phone call. And again, they turned the blind eye and, and refused to even look for him. At 8.30 at night, he finally phoned me from Illich Gardens after buying a gun at 8 o'clock. And when I called the Castle Rock police to inform them, they said that's out of our jurisdiction. I said to them, you need to put out an APB. They did not even know how to put out an APB. Instead, the officer that I went in to speak with went to lunch for two hours. Um, you know, it's, it's such an epidemic. It, it's, it, it makes me physically ill to know that we are not considered humans. I think animals have more rights than women and children do. And we are ultimately in extreme danger with the restraining orders the way they are set forth as of now. I have been through the court system and have been told that they, officers do not have to enforce. There is nothing to make them. They are under immunity. The government grants them immunity. So what are we paying them tax dollars for? Um, needless to say, uh, we, the whole evening went by and um, every two hours I was told to wait and call back, wait and call back. Had they just told me they weren't going to do anything, I could have at least gathered my own posse and went looking for my children instead of waiting. It was, it was just an explosion waiting to happen. It, it, it was the worst day of my entire life. That was on June 22nd of 1999. My seventh year anniversary just recently passed. By 3.30 the next morning on the 23rd, I heard from Simon's girlfriend that the police, after a shootout with Simon and and ultimately killing him, had found my three dead daughters in the back of it, the cab of his truck. And that's how I found out that my children were murdered. Since then, I've been through the federal courts and was denied my rights there. And not only have I been denied, but all of us as citizens are denied. It's a universal problem. Castle Rock took it to the Supreme Court, 
and come to find the word shall really does not mean must. There, it does not mean shall. We are still no more protected now than we were before. In fact, I think we're even in a more dangerous situation. And that's why I'm here. I, I can only wish that the Human Rights Committee can possibly move the United States to protect and enforce restraining orders. And that's my wish for this, this particular meeting. Thank you.